Hello guys and you're welcome. Today what we're going to do is to create a nice fire animation using Animation Desk. So let's begin. First, open up Animation Desk and hit the plus icon to create a new project. I'm not going to call it sequence. I'll just call it fire underscore a name. And I kind of like this. So I'll just leave it at, let's try 24 frames per second. I think that's really nice. And what we can do is to add a background to our sketch. So I'll just add something really nice, nothing too complicated, just here. So I'll just click on start and this should create the sequence and drop us where we will have a nice little plain sequence. So first I'd like to have a nice background level where I can draw everything. So I'll hit, click on the background, not on layer one, but on the background. And I'll make sure the brush is set to a dark color. And what I'll do next is to click over here and bring in the ruler. And I'll just drag the ruler down here and expand it till it becomes quite large. And I'll switch over to the pencil tool like so. And I'll just go over towards this edge and just draw a nice little now, sometimes it does that, it does that little error. So all you have to do is just uh, click it away and you're done. So let's right click on the ruler and just say close. So now we have a nice ruler. And what I want to do is to mark this section because this is where I'm going to be creating my fire from. I just want to make sure it's at this base. And in fact, what we can do is to just make this really visible. So let's switch to another color. And let's just use that color and mark this section over here. And let's go back to our black. So what we'll do, we're going to do is jump to layer one right now. And on layer one, we'll start creating the frames for this animation. So if I click on add another frame, I'll just have another frame. But here I'll click on frame one and start drawing our fire. So how do we animate fire? So what I want you to do is think about a ball right so we have a little ball here I'll just catch this ball and then this ball is going through a an elastic rubber pipe so this is our rubber pipe and it's an elastic rubber pipe so if our ball is here so our initial shape is going to be something like this with our ball inside basically think about a python that has swallowed something so it's going to look like this but once our ball has now moved here if our ball is in this position let's just draw a drawing here we're going to have our pipe look like this this time around because our ball has now moved towards this position so it's going to slightly pull the things around the edge right there and then here's our ball and once our ball has gone to the tip, let's say it's down over here, we're going to have that distortion also show, and then we'll have this going back to normal. And if you keep this in mind and have this ball moving up and then moving down and add a little twist to the ball as well, you can actually see what happens. And also you can think about fire like a shimitar basically it's uh, an arabian weapon it looks something like this right so it's like this like this and we have the handle and then you can add a little effects where say this section here is chopped off and this section here is chopped off as well so you can think about fire you know, looking something like that it's like a sword right a little sword so you can use that base shape to use to think about fire and you can also think about fire like a leaf right so you can have a plant leaf like so and basically you can think about fire like a lot of things so think about plant leaves think about swords think about shimitars and then think about chopped edges and basically curves so you can think about fire like a dancing curve right so it's dancing here and it's dancing again later on it becomes like this becomes like that and it's dancing and you're trying to incorporate all this now i know this might be complex so let's go ahead and just pick the ball method for creating fire and i'll make this eraser tool quite large 
and I'll just clean everything because on our frame I don't want to have this uh, this fire uh, having all these shimitars appearing and disappearing when we begin our animation. So again, on frame one, click our pencil. Make sure we've actually selected the dark brush. And once we're done, let's go ahead and select this one and let's just begin. So here on frame one, I'm going to start drawing a very nice little base for our fire, like so. So what I'll do is go over to frame two and make sure we've turned on the onion skin, which is this one. Right. So this is our onion skin. You see if I turn it off, if I go back to frame one, I can see the drawing on frame one. On frame two, I can't see anything because the onion skin is off. I'll just turn this on so we're on frame two and let's draw our shape again. So the ball has begun to expand and it's getting bigger. So what we can do is just enhance this and don't forget to just change the way it looks like. Like so. So this is frame two. So let's add another frame. Let's add one frame. So this is showing us frame two, but we want to draw on frame three. So three, what we're going to do is just move this along to the size like so. And then have this like that. So let's go ahead and add another flame on frame four. So we're seeing three and two. This is on four only. And if you want to change the onion skin, you can click on this gear icon at the bottom right. Go to onion skin and you can actually see any onion skin range you want to use. Now, unfortunately, this is the first time I'm seeing the onion skin feature unlocked, locked rather, on a free, on a paid software. Now, Animation Desk is a paid software, but you have access with a little bit of limitations. But it's the first time I'm seeing onion skin limitations especially for the color please and please let this be accessible even if it's for the free version let the onion skin go it's very important let the onion skin go because you know you're supposed to have color code for onion skin so either way so we are on frame three let's go to frame four and then begin to increase our fire because you can see our fire is small here it's starting to get big three now let's go to four and then pump up this uh, fire so i'll go over here not forgetting my origin and i'll begin to draw a little bit of fire here and this shimter is now big imagine having this weapon about to strike so i'm just going to draw this right here and we can turn off the onion skin to see what we're drawing so let's go to frame five right now so you can see we are on five on layer one frame five and I'll turn on my onion skin so I can see my last drawing. So this is five. And what I'll do is begin to shrink this edge, right? So like so. So next, what I'll do is just uh, imagine this fire has begun to thin out on some sections. So just to have a variation. So I'm just going to draw a nice little flame shape like so and then draw this over here so it's really thinning out right now so it's thin you can actually see the large one now it's getting smaller and i'm alternating those shapes as well so let's add another frame this is going to be frame six so we can see five here this is six we're seeing five five six is empty but we're seeing what is on the previous layer because we have onion skin selected i'm clicking on this little m here it's showing us our onion skin selection and what i'll do is to reduce the size of this flame so let's just go ahead and draw a nice little flame size again getting smaller so i'll just go to frame seven and i literally like adding the frames as i go along i don't want to create frames and then have to delete them so i like going along creating those uh, flame, uh, fl frames so what I'll do now on seven is to draw a little flame going in the opposite direction, like so. And I'll add one. So this is going to be eight. So this is seven, this is what we drew on seven. So this is our eight and eight. Let's just begin to add very basic 
let's just do something like that and you can see because we're doing our you know straight ahead animation for an inorganic shape object we are actually animating this uh, object like so and it's we're trying to make it look like fire so we think about leaves we think about spears we think about all these things together so what i would want to do now is begin to reduce this fire shape while it's still retaining this tail like structure so what i'll do now is to just draw this and then still keep that tail like structure but i have this random variation so if i go to 10 you can see 9 and you can see what's on 9 so this is what's on 9 this is 9 right here but we're on 10 so on 10 let's begin to draw and separate the fire shape so some of this section now is lost and then that sharp peak is now alone on its own it's over here so on 11 let's add another frame here on 11 so what I'll do is to just indicate this again like so and then I'll still put slightly some of this section that has separated and then let's go to 12 on frame 12 what we'll do is just draw out our fire again and make it totally break our rules so let's go to 13 so on 13 now I'll break this into two separate sections and I'll swap the direction because fire is unpredictable it can kid can change direction at any time I don't think this is a good <laughs> fire that's not a good fire shape if I turn this back on I know that's super weird but let's leave it and see what happens but just know that frame 13 is super weird and what I'll do is to just follow this shape here and then cut it off like so so on 13 we have two separate drawings on 14 let's click on done just to add this so on 14 let's be a bit fair and give this the classic fire shape and then we're going to have some of this section here that has burned out so uh, let's test this animation and see so now we can actually see what's happening we have a fire animation that is extremely fast <laughs> so how do we uh, how do we set that back let's try 12 let's try 12 and let's hit this and let's try playing our animation again so I kind of like how this speed is on 12 it's not a bad speed and you can actually see we just have variations there and you can see that frame I was complaining about because that doesn't really look like fire if we are honest that doesn't this frame I believe it's frame 13 that was one that had that very weird I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> so let's uh, let's use the eraser here and select this eraser tool and let's make it slightly smaller like so and then let's just go over here and clean this accident and let's go back to our pencil tool and then try to make that into that sharp nice curve like so yeah I don't think that's that's bad I don't think that's bad at all and now that we have this layer what we can do is to use a cleaner if you want a cleaner version what we can do is to go back and start tracing let's see if we can use this pen let's see if we can use this one and you see that's that's an ink and that's super dark right there <laughs> so what we can do is to set this size to say six let's try six and let's try doing something I still think th 6 is thick let's double that down to say 3 and I think 3 is going to be okay so what we can do is to go back to 1 we're on layer 2 and what we can do is to start to zoom in you can hold ctrl and plus and hold the space bar and drag to drag up and down and we could just start tracing over 
this fire so we can have a very nice ink line like so. So I'll go back to two. And you can actually see, so we're just inking this to make it quite, you know, uh, and this is hand inking, nothing to, you know, I'm not trying to aim for perfection, just following what we just did real quick. If we want, we can add, and you can also see that I went against the rules because I created the, uh, oops, I created the, uh, I went a little bit below the spot we had made earlier on. Now, if this fire was a weapon, I believe that's that would be super awesome. So we're just quickly going over this with a nice ink pen. We're not really trying to punish ourselves about it, like so. Well, there's still a lot more to do, so I'll just try and speed through this just so we have something quite nice. And I think it would be good to test this because I wouldn't want to do all this and then realize there's a problem somewhere. So let's just play this and see. So we can actually see some of that. We can see through the uh, animation. We can see some of our fire. And that is actually working, guys. Come on, just let me see. I just want to quickly stop this and then keep going. And pretty much you can run away from the tutorial because we are virtually done. So all we're doing right now is just tracing over what we've done. And this one, whoa, this one's going to be a bit weird. Like so. Okay, that wasn't so hard, was it? Whoa, okay. And um, just I don't, I don't have that tissue thing where you could just tie that Wacom thing on your hand, and that's going to help with the smoothness. So I don't have to use my wrist because I'm using my wrist right now. And I saw somewhere that using your wrist isn't really cool. So you can actually just <clears throat> sorry, whoops, I don't like how that turned up. So I'll just quickly start from here. And I always try to go for curves. I noticed that edge, this section here, was too straight. So always try to go for curves because you're doing dealing with something that is uh, random. I think that's the word. It's so random. So we're almost done here. So let's go to 10. That's 9. So this is 10. We're almost done. So we'll just stick to this and then draw this one. And this is the most boring thing ever because I'm just repeating the same thing over and over again. So here I believe we have two separate flames. And also always try to stick to curves. So you can see I'm actually correcting some of the drawings I did. I'm just trying to make them slightly curvy. Like so. I really like this shape. Ah, I don't like how that edge went. I really want this edge to be super curvy. So I'll just start from here. Like that. Exactly like that. Yeah, cool. And we'll just do this one. Like so. Nice. And we'll do this one as well. Now this doesn't really look like fire, I'll be honest. But I'll just I'll just go ahead with it and wing it. And then 13. 14. Ah, I believe this is the last one, so I'll hit control and get back here, add my little circle here, add this little gentleman, like so. And I think we're done. So let's go ahead and play it. 
and we can actually see you know our uh, inked drawing here now the cool thing is we can uh, we have the ink layer and this is the drawing layer we can turn it off and if you play this we only have the vector layer I think I believe I turned off the right one let's see which one we turned off okay yeah good so we have the vector layer showing and we can turn this off as well and it's uh, automatically saved this so yeah that's how you can create uh, fire with Godot with, sorry not with Godot <laughs> with animation desk <laughs> not Godot Godot is a different program so and what we can do is if we go back to this frame here and we're on layer 2 which is our vector lines layer uh, what we can do is we hit this paint bucket we can look for a flamey kind of color like so and I believe we can fill that up we can do this like so and fill and I'll just try to add slight variation to this like so and let's just add a little variation here and let's go back and click on these frames So we could, we're just adding some nice variation here and we could even add texture using other uh, roller tools so i'll just switch this back to this color and then drag this down a little bit because fire is not made of a uniform color all true one two And then we can hit our last one, one, two, and just for some reason, because I'm being naughty, I'll just switch this and hit this color, like so. So let's play it and see how this looks like. Looks like rather. So you can see we're having some of the variations for our color, our fire. And I believe we can use gradient, but I don't think the gradient is paid for. So the gradient might not be available because this is just a fill tool paint tool we have a spray paint dodge and burn i believe we can use dodge and burn to let's try dodge and i'll pick this one and i'll pick 11 and i'll just try doing some of that so you can see how we can do that effect i'll just try to make that slightly large very large okay that's a bit too much we can even add where's the roller let's add this weird effect for the fire <laughs> we have fire texture and I think it's gonna be nice because it will make it look like it has a few sparks around it flying around like so Trust me, that's some super weird stuff. So let's play the animation. Yeah, so we have this nice little gradient-y textured fire that's just billowing and going up and burning and burning. So thank you very much for watching, guys. That's how you can create fire with Animation Desk. Awesome, nice little tool. I wish they had colored onion skins. So tell them we need colored onion skins. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. A peace.